What do you want? Where were you at break time? Well, he was in here. He's always in here. Aren't you, Tim? Tim, did you see anyone take a mobile phone from Zara's bag? I didn't see nothing. So why are you sweating? Oh, it is hot in here. Don't hold back on us, Tim. You know something. I don't. I swear. That's enough. You said he was here all break. Of course he was. How do you know? I thought you were watching the fight. Um, well, I, I might have looked away for a minute. According to the timings on Mia's mobile, Tim had less than 53 seconds to get from the library to the bench and back, whilst Mrs Meeker was distracted. Could he have done it? Well, maybe you mean Giraffe. What do you mean, Ross? Uh, you don't even know you're doing it. Doing what? Hey, Doobie. Uh, you see? One thirty-seven. Tim would have had no chance. Just like you. What? I just got your sad little text. Will you go out with me? I like chubby girls. What? what? Feel free to find yourself a chubby girl, because tactless big heads don't do it for me. I never sent that. So I must have nicked my phone and sent that text. Right. What are you doing? Hello? Yeah, hi. Chubby yourself. You phone nicking, scumbag piece of. Hello? She hung up. She? Give me that. I called back, but Red's phone was switched off. Still, at least we knew we were looking for a girl, not a boy. Give us a lesson? Utility pants have really sold out. Um, bands called Futility Trousers. But this is actually boys' own. Right. Ten pounds. <laughs> I'll have the rush by tomorrow. Cool. No rush. Hey. Nice mobile. Where's she getting that sort of cash? Why don't you ask her? OK, I will. Ow! Stop it! Ah. Ow! 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 What are you doing? Ah. Stop pulling! <laughs> Here. What? Hazel soon discovered headphones, nose rings and dreadlocks don't mix. Our little secret. Yeah? Calm down. It's OK. We just want to know, did you get a text from Red? Yes, please don't hurt me. It's fine, it's all a misunderstanding. Could you please show us the text? I hate geeks, and you're a number one geek. Prepare to die. I swear, I never sent that. We now knew why Doobie and Tim were so scared of Red. Our phantom texter had been busy all day. Tim. At break time, did you see anyone going near that bench? Just the usual. April, Zara, Mercedes and the rest of their gang. And then they all went off to watch the fight. And then, did you see anyone hanging around Zara's bag? Mm, well, there was someone. Who? Boy or girl? Um, girl. Definitely girl. She had long hair. What colour of hair? Um, black. What was she wearing? Just school uniform and a coat. What colour? Yellow. Hazel just had to know where Jeannie was getting that money. And a good detective will examine all the evidence. And do whatever it takes to get a result. One by one, we watched the entire school leave through the gates. Nobody wore a yellow coat. We were about to give up, 
when we noticed something strange. Mercedes was up to something, something she didn't want even April to know about. Crime. Well, it's a crime against fashion, but like you're any judge. So why all the sneaking around? It's like this. My mum forces me to wear this dork suit to cycle home, but April says it makes me look like a bouncy castle, so I just... Drop the act. Yellow coat, black hair, it all fits. Tragic, he's finally flipped. Dork suit it may be, but a yellow jacket would be a pretty good disguise for a pink. That and the helmet. She could have stolen the phones and sent the texts, or not. As Bernstein says, if in doubt, sleep on it, which is what I did. No more nicked mobiles or messed up texts. I guess someone got what she wanted. She's April's best buddy now. But why would Mercedes target Jason? And Kylie? And Mia? Red herring? To put us off the scent. Mercedes had the motive, the opportunity, and the yellow jacket. So why did I still have the feeling that I was missing something? I've been watching you. Lucky me, my very first stalker. I know where you're getting the money. Well done. And just for that, you can bog off. What? Buy one, get one free. It's the offer of a lifetime. Just follow me. You're good at that, aren't you? Meanwhile, things weren't looking too good for Hatman Investigations. We had a witness and a suspect, but no solid evidence. And our client base wasn't entirely satisfied. You'll get your mobile back. I don't want it. I bought a new one. Custom, I see. Rangers colours. Nice. OK, I'm going to give you a call as soon as we've got the news. What's your new number? Same as my old one. Well, that's handy. And you know what? It's even got all my mates listed in it. <sighs> Salim, I want you to think carefully about this. Is there any chance that this is actually your old phone? No, I told you, this is my new phone. Do you mind? Recognise this? That's my old phone. Give it back. Not yet. I think you better tell me why you bought it. Get your mobiles, lovely mobiles, custom made, any colour you want. Do you need? Quid. Don't all rush at once. It's not agreed to go straight. This is straight. And when did you get all this lot? Well, I found the first one by accident. Oh, green stuff. Walking. 